Yo, my people, them CFC Riddles Blue back with another video, and it's the match review for the Chelsea and West Ham game, which we smoked West Ham 5 0. High fives all around. Big up the man, them Cole Palmer with his 21st Premier League goal of the season, Nicholas Jackson with his 12th and 13th goal in the Premier League, Noni Madweki and Conor Gallagher on the score sheet. Bam. This was a great performance, a training ground performance. And if you guys are excited as I am about this result, get me as many likes on this video as possible. Leave your thoughts and opinions down below. And guess what? Chelsea are now above Manchester United in the Premier League. Hopefully, we can get sixth place and we can get Europa League football. We can end the season off that way. That's better than what man would have hoped. Than what I would have hoped a couple of weeks ago. But to talk about the match. Hey man, we got boosted coming into this game. And Kunku was on the bench. Cole was on the bench. Gusto surprisingly was on the bench. Just like um, the Sterling was. Thiago Silva was in the starting lineup. Like we saw De Sassi was on the bench. We saw bare guys who was on the injury list come back and be available. That gave us more momentum going into this game. And the way we set up was basically the same way as we set up against um against um Tottenham. Instead, but instead of Trevor Chalobah playing centre-back, he played right-back. And Alfie Gulkos moved to the bench. And Thiago Silva was playing at centre-back as well. But the midfield, the attack was the exact same. And we was on smoke. We was on smoke. 15 minutes in, Cole Palmer with the goal. Easy. The ball just fell. He just came onto it. Left foot, bottom corner. Cold as you like. Cold as you like. And a 21st Premier League goal of the season for him. We stepped it up a gear. 30th minute, Conor Gallagher. Ball has come. It fell down. It was just him. Bullied it. Bottom corner. Ariola was on niche. He couldn't do nothing about it. Nothing about it. Six minutes later, Noni Madweki with a goal. Big him up, man. Big him up. And an electric, an electric first half. We all ended it 3-0. West Ham were on niche. They was on nothing. They hit the bar. A couple of times throughout the whole match, but realistically, it was on nothing. It was a training ground match for Chelsea, and you have to big up the team. The only thing I wonder to myself is, why have we not played this way all season? Why have we not seen Kukureo inverted the majority of the time? Because that's the key difference. Getting more men in the midfield, not allow us to get counterattack so easily. We have middle players in the middle of the park, and they can't bypass us. West Ham made it easy for us. They weren't setting up to have a high energy. When we had the ball, their player was like 10 or 15 yards behind us. Like we had so much time, so much space to do everything that we did. And it's credit to us to, for taking the advantage because we've had other situations where we could have been the better team and destroyed another team because they were lesser than us. They didn't have the same enthusiasm, but hasn't been the case in other games. But today it was on show. The tempo was excellent. The movement was excellent. People linking up, one-twos, counter-attacks, taking the game to West Ham. This is everything that man has been wanting to see all season. And it's just jarring, like I said before, that the fact that it hasn't been the case. We are now in the 35th game week. 35 games played and we're only playing like this now. Like, better late than never, but damn, man, we sure did leave it late. And... That was just the first half. In the second half, we stepped up again. Two or three minutes after the second half had started, Nicholas Jackson with his first goal, with his first goal of the game. First goal of the game. It was some, it was some, um, it was some very good play. Noni Mad, Noni Madweki, Noni Madweki. I mean, Trevor Chaiba with a great ball over the top. Noni Madweki had made a great run, gone past his man, Nicholas Jackson to the left hand side, just passed it to him. Nicholas Jackson rolled it into the bottom of the into the into the goal to make it 4-0 to Chelsea and to get his 12th Premier League goal. Then later on in the game, we had another run. And Moises Caicedo, he um no, Christopher and Cookie, he won the ball back, gave it to Moises Caicedo. Caicedo played the ball through to Nicholas Jackson and he took it past the goal. He didn't even take it past him. He first time finished it. The confidence was there. I've seen you miss a lot of chances like that earlier in the season, Nicholas Jackson, but that today was excellent. Probably one of your best performances for us. The referees are a bump though, because these guys try to rule it out. How the referees can look at the VAR, like VAR, and you see 
clear as day that Nicholas Jackson is behind the West Ham defender, but yet they still take 60 seconds, but 90 seconds to make a decision. Are you blind? The referees in VAR, are you blind? Are you actually blind? Because man has glasses on. I could take off my glasses. I can't even see that much. I could still see that Nicholas Jackson was on side. How are you guys have been professional referees, have these high roles that affect big, that affect games? How do you make decisions like this? How does it take you so long to make these decisions? Why can't it be that quick? Oh, yeah, he's on side. Yeah, let's give it a goal. Takes you damn two minutes long, like wasting bare time. But that's just Premier League referees for you. This is the second game in a row where they've, they've tried to take away a goal from Chelsea, but they've tried to. But guess what? It hasn't been the case. It hasn't been the case. And I hope that it stays this way because referees are always out to get Chelsea, in my opinion. They are always out to get us. And now, now I'm going to talk about Maurizio Pochettino. Yeah, you see Pochettino today, another brilliant display. Another brilliant display because the team was set up in the right way. You made the right decision. You bring back in Thiago Silva when he was fit and ready. I applaud you for that. Bringing in Thiago Silva because he is our best centre-back right now. He is. And the way the team have been playing, damn excellent, man. I really wish I'd been playing this way throughout the whole entire season. But these are one of the things where I'm on to you so much because I'm loving today. I wish I could come into every match review and be like just happy days, easy win, training ground. Training ground, um, routine match, but it hasn't been the case for the majority of the season. You leave it this late. Like, why can't you do these things earlier in the season? Why have we been, we've always had injuries, but yet you still can't, we still couldn't do it for the whole of the season because we're now trying to get sixth place, seventh place, which for a Chelsea standards is unacceptable. But we are made to in these two situations based off decisions that you've made and the selections of the team. If you told Mandem to play Kukurea in inverted roles, we could have been we could have been doing better for a majority of the season. But it hasn't been the case. You've only done these things in the last two to three games. And it's just so poor because we're on the 35 game weeks. And you might not even be here next season. So I'm still Pochettino out, but I have to give him credit where credit was due. The performance was excellent. But I just wish that you would have implemented these instructions earlier in the season. And we wouldn't be scrape it to try to get seventh place we wouldn't be we wouldn't so that's just it for me mudrick you need to do better bro today if of all the players you should have done better you should have scored that chance that cole palmer gave to you over the top boom should have been you bro one-on-one -on -one should have been you that's poor man you need to do better you have to because people are still on you and i need you to step up your game so that you can become a serious star and I just hope that you do, man. I hope you do. Noni Madweki, great performance from you. In my opinion, I'm going to say that you was man's man of the match today. The way you was running, honestly, since you've had that text from Ruby Rose and then FaceTime from Ruby Rose, you're moving on a mad team. The Tottenham game, this game, you've been on a mad move. Goal and assist again today. Have to big you up. Have to big you up. Cole Palmer does Cole Palmer things. 30 goals for the season. In all no, 30 goal involvements in the Premier League, 21 Premier League goals, cold as you like. Nicholas Jackson, 12 or 13 Premier League goals today. This is your first season. People that, that doubt Nicholas Jackson, keep doubting him. Because for me, he's nowhere near the finished article. And if he improves his finishing, it can be a long day because everything else he has. Link up, the way to time is run, the decision making, you know how to do these things. So I pray that you just keep on improving, keep on doing your thing. Back-to-back -back Premier League clean sheets for the first time since February 23. Our defence looks healthy. We've now scored seven goals without conceding one in, the, in this whole week. It's been a brilliant, brilliant week. I hope next week is the same kind of thing. Because we've been Tottenham, we've been West Ham at home, two London derbies, and we made them look so easy. We made it look so easy. And now next week, next week, I'm not even sure who we have right now next week, but we should hopefully get the W. And if we do, then we can stake our claim to trying to finish in sixth place because Man United, they play tomorrow as well as Newcastle, they played yesterday. Those two still have to play each other. So depending on the results in those games, we need to win our games. Newcastle have at least six more goals in goal difference. So we need to pepper these last couple of games. Get our goal difference as high as possible so we can finish as high as possible. But again, I have to big up the team. 
big up the man them everyone you was great today there was no rubbish performance and yeah man glad to see him kunku come back glad to see gusto off the bench gil curse you guys we are getting back to where we need to be our players are coming back reese james is going to be back soon enough as well it's going to be a brilliant end to the season hopefully we can win our last three games and and go into next season with happy if i'm happy thoughts happy thoughts but again that's gonna be it from me you guys thank you for joining me on the watch along like share and subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter tiktok snapchat and facebook for more chelsea content i'm cfc red blue and i'm out peace come on chelsea come on chelsea we destroyed west ham five goals five star performance in a bit man